Hello everybody. What's going on? I kind of saying that. <laughs> What's up, everybody? A lot has happened. A lot has happened since I last talked properly to you. I know I said that I'm gonna make like more videos, like, and I guess people saw that I was making more videos more often for like a little bit, but then that kind of fizzled out because I got a new job. People get all, like new jobs sometimes. It comes like at the most unexpected times and things like that. But basically, I am working sort of as like an assistant producer-ish type of role for a channel called The Fung Bros. Basically what I'm doing there is like reaching out to food locations, starting scripts, helping organize, basically helping them get off, like get started back again in LA. And um, it's kind of, it's kind of fun to work for a YouTube channel that you've been watching since like high school. I really want to like take the opportunity to like help them out, but as well as like get to like learn some new like producing things and especially with like gear and stuff like that. Back to my channel, um, these are some of my favorite things so far from the summer. I went to OC uh, Night Market and actually got a a lot of things are <laughs> have attachments have like are associated with OC Night Market in this video, but um, this is one of them. You know the anti-social like social club shirts. This is an anti-animal cruelty club shirt. <laughs> I think it's fun to take like a trend or something you know that's seen as like super cool and make it your own. Um, I got this shirt from a booth called like Arm the Animals or something. Um, I'll have like their organization's link uh, down below. And um, yeah, they basically make and sell cute like merch and use the money to help out animals, which is, you know, I am all for that. So there's this Polaroid shirt. It's a guy's shirt. It's 100% cotton too, which I'm a fan of. I saw this at Forever 21 and I was just like, okay. And then I went on to their app to see like what the girls had or a female um, edition so that it would, you know, fit my like shape a bit better because with guys shirts, it's just normally just like all full on like, you know, whole square from the top down but with like sometimes with like the ones where girls you have sort of like a cinch here there's like a shape to it but there wasn't i was just like okay i'll just go with the guys one then and that's what i did um it's really cool there's like rainbow squares you know how polaroids are like are like associated with like squares sometimes at least on instagram and stuff like that um i mean even when you printed them out too but like they're rainbow squares and the pol part of the polaroid logo is like rainbow so i thought that was really cool how there's rainbow squares going down the sleeves um someone at oc night market i was wearing this to oc night market um because i wanted to be cool even though it was like you know super hot because it happens during the summer someone saw my shirt and she was like wow you must like really know a lot about cameras and stuff i'm just like no i just like i just like you know filming and like taking pictures and stuff with cameras but i'm not exactly like an expert but she, and then she, she turns out she, she goes into all this detail about Polaroids and we have like this like full on discussion about Polaroids because of the shirt I'm wearing. Um, and she used to work at a store, a camera shop. So that was pretty interesting. You don't find a lot of people, you don't find a lot of girls actually that are into like cameras like seriously at least at least in my experience maybe maybe other people have disneyland spirit jersey this is the millennial pink one obviously that's the back of it this is the front of it and coda's looking at me on the outside she's like why am i on the outside and she's on the inside this one oh she's crying so i let them back in because they wanted to come back in. Anyway, <laughs> should I just continue the video like this with all of you guys over here? She doesn't notice that the camera's on at all, but Ginger's right here, Coda's back there. Um, spirit jerseys. <laughs> but spirit jerseys are like, they, I don't need any more, okay? and like they keep coming out with new ones and 
They're so cute. I mean, look at this cotton candy one that is about to be released. Do you guys want to talk about, should we talk about music next? So one of my favorite albums, like at least from this month, was Love Yourself, Answer. I was going to say Love Yourself, Myself, and I was just like, no, that's not it. Um, I think my favorite songs on that album are Idol. The one, I like the one with Nicki Minaj in it too. If you haven't like heard that one, you should try it, even if you're not a BTS fan. Um, Idol, I'm Fine. I like Trivia Love for, uh, for a little bit too. And then... Yeah, that's basically it. Are you tired? I want affection. Um, and and it's cool that Nicki Minaj is featured on a track because it's just showing that how much like you know K-pop or like Eastern music is kind of breaking into that Western music market. Blackpink and Dua Lipa have a song coming out, and I am so stoked for that. Um, because they're both just like girl boss sort of like um, bands and so yeah very very excited for that yeah no saw BTS this month and they're they're very good they're, <laughs> they're they're pretty good honestly no to be honest like technique style yeah they're good so yeah uh, food wise so these two are definitely like my favorite foods this month because they taste so good. So these two are definitely like my favorite foods this month because they taste so good. For it's, this is the Oreo Thins, the salted caramel Oreo Thins. Like, let me describe to you the texture. First of all, first of all, it's like really you really have to like not let yourself eat these like chips. Look how so this is this is how it looks. Look how thin it is. Yeah. It just tastes really nice. It's not like vanilla -y. It has like a kick to it because it's caramel. Yeah. It's really good. Chocolate biscuit and coconut. I mean, like, sign me up. Yum. You can't have any, dude. They're chocolate. You'll die. I'm sorry. This is it. It looks like a normal Oreo. You just hold it up like this. But if you turn it over, it's probably half the size or a third of the size. So nice. The coconut cream. This is, I think this is probably one of my favorite Oreos because it just like takes me back home. But yeah, that's basically it for our September update. Thank you so much for watching. Click to subscribe. That means a lot to me if you consistently like my videos and want to see them. Um, means a lot to Coda as well. Right, Coda? She's eating something that I don't know. I'm going to check it out later. Bye. Oh, go ahead and thumbs up this video. Leave a comment down below. I respond. I respond. Um, because, you know, I like talking to you guys. It's very, that's what I feel like makes YouTube and social media in general so special is that, like, the creators can interact with their viewers. And that's, like, highly encouraged and actually what creates the culture and the community so much. So, yeah. For the third time, I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah, bye. I'm getting squished by a pit bull. Bye. I feel like pit bulls are so, like, misjudged. This is the sweetest creation I have ever seen. But if, honest, but if you leave stuff on the floor for her, she thinks it's like, oh, I can check it out. Isn't that right? Oh, she's laying down. There she goes.